So friends, in the previous video, we have learned about the advantages of the jigs and fixtures. A jig is a device that holds the workpiece as well as guides the cutting tool. And a fixture is a device that only holds the workpiece. That was a basic difference between the jig and fixture. Over here, friends, in this video, we are going to learn about a 3D model of a box type drilling jig. Its actual construction, the construction in such a way that it follows the principle of locating as well as principle of clamping. So these two principles are very important in this while designing the jigs and fixtures. Each and every object, each and every workpiece will be having a certain degrees of freedom. How these degrees of freedom will get arrested in jigs and fixtures that we have covered in this 3D model. So friends, this is nothing but the simple representation of a box type drilling jig. As we have seen, the main principle of the drilling jig is to hold the workpiece as well as to guide the cutting tool. Over here, this box type drilling jig holds the workpiece as this is a box okay, and it uh, guides the cutting tool. It guides the drill bit from these two drill bushes. Okay, So the my drill bit will pass through this drill bush and ultimately the drilling operation will carry it into this box on the workpiece. So it's a very very simple kind of a box type jig and uh, the body you can say this is the heavy a very bulky and rigid body it is having uh, this uh, latch is provided okay for opening and closing or like uh, we can say for easy removal of the workpiece or easy insertion of the workpiece into this drilling jig this particular drilling jig complies all the principles of locating and principles of clamping these two are different principles well let's talk about the location principle of location as we have seen in our previous video like the degrees of freedom every object is having a degrees of freedom every workpiece we need to restrict all the degrees of freedom in order to machine the workpiece correctly accurately so in order to do that over here these three supporting pins are provided we can effectively we can say it is a locating pin at the bottom to restrict the uh, you know the vertical movement okay so that the workpiece will not go down okay so over here three pins are there so workpiece will not fall down also friends these are these are nothing but the straight head uh, locating pins also over here on this particular plane uh, there are another pins these are the conical ones now workpiece must be having drilled hole so that's why the conical pins are here so the workpiece will get set on these conical faces so it uh, you know it cannot rotate all the degrees of freedom will get arrested over here if we look at this particular plane this plane another locating pin is provided to restrict the moment of workpiece in that direction and from the top if we close this uh, latch on the top itself there is another locating pin now this locating pin will exert a compressive force against the workpiece okay so that is nothing but the it follows the principle of locating as well as principle of clamping so in the clamping over here the knob is provided this knob like a screwed one it gives a very quick return kind of a mechanism there so operator will be easily you know operate this uh, box type jig so that was uh, the simple representation of the box type jig 
which complies the principles of locating and principles of clamping. So friends, that was about the 3D model of a simple box type drilling jig. I hope you have understood the principle of location and principle of clamping. These two principles we will be covering in the later parts of the videos. So please stay tuned with this playlist of production engineering.